In this video, we're just going to look at uh, mathematical induction. I'm just going to do with you uh, some few examples that are going to equip you for your exam that you'll be able to do your proof using mathematical induction. So we have this problem on screen, uh, which reads: Use mathematical induction to prove that for every integer uh, that is greater than one, one plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 mm, go on until you like 3n minus 2 that should be a sum for for the sequence so we have to prove that uh, this this is true for every integer first we should test this thing of uh if it's true if we put one there okay if n is equals to one let's see Mm, then this thing is going to be 1 okay instead of n you just going to put 1 uh, 3 1 plus that is a minus minus 1 all in bracket this should be the same all over 2 and then if I do your math here it is going to be 2 this is going to be 1 inside here is going to be 2 and 2 below then 2's go away then your answer is going to be 1 so if n is equal to 1 then it's going to be 1 okay from that experiment we can deduct that uh, if if n is equal to 1 then the statement is going to be logically true okay uh, and again now let's assume it is also true when n equals to k it is also true let's assume that so if it is true then this is going to be 1 plus 4 okay i'm very very writing pluses plus 7 plus 10 uh, plus uh 3k uh because you said n is equal to k uh, and remember oh yeah and uh minus two so then that is going to equal to k 3k minus one all over two we are assuming it true for k and yeah if it is true for k then okay if it is true true uh, for k for k then it that implies that it should be also be true for k plus one let's prove uh, uh, if it is true if we substitute n with uh, k plus one okay to do that uh, we're just going to Write the sequence again, it's 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10. Um, it goes on until it's uh, 3k plus 2. But now the number of terms is going to be k plus 1. Because, yeah, this is our last term. So it's going to be 3 on instead of k then it's going to be k plus one close plus two that is all okay and that should be equal to um instead of k here just going to put k uh we're just going to put k uh, plus one and uh open bracket three k plus one the inner bracket minus one all over two so this is going this side is going to be my left hand side and this is going to be my right hand side so i'm supposed to prove if right hand side is equals to left hand side so this parts of the sequence we have uh, something that really can remove it, substitute it. We just did it here. We said this part equals to 
this we said that right so instead of this whole thing you can just put this of which is 4 k sorry 3k minus 1 fold over 2 and we don't know this okay so we're just going to trick uh, those three uh no the what let me confirm here i use bracket in a very long way so here we can distribute three now okay plus we distribute three we're going to have three k okay? and if we distribute three we're going to have plus three and here I made a mistake, it was minus 1, I already made plus 1 here, so it's going to be minus 2, okay, and if you work this very well, this is going to be this plus 1, right? I just put uh, plus 1 there to make it more simpler to work with, and then I just move everything up, you know, I change this so far. Um, to keep on with that, this way we ended, so now we're trying to add these two. So we're just going to make sure that they are in the same denominator and that is going to be k um, Yeah, 3k uh, minus 3k minus 1 close all over 2 Then here it's going to be 2 and if I distribute 2 inside it's going to be 6k And here it's going to be plus 2 all over 2 there's a plus here and now they are in same they are they have a very same denominator. I could just put it here, and here it will be. This will go inside. It will be three k squared minus k uh, plus six k mm, plus two. So from here you could just work out the like terms of it. These are k's here. They could be expressed as uh, 3, what is my 3? Very bad 3. The 3k squared, and this is going to give you plus 5k uh, plus 2 all over 2. Okay, then we can express uh, 5 as like, as, as uh, we, can, we can just break it down to be 3k squared. Is going to be plus 3k and plus 2k plus 2 all over 2. While I was doing that, now I can take out a common factor here and take out a common factor there. So if I look here, there is a common factor of 3k open bracket. Um, what I'll have here, here I'll have. What I'm having here, okay. If I remove 3k, I will have I'll remain with a k, and if I remove there, it will remain with there plus 3 close. And here, if I remove um, if I remove 2, take out 2, I'll be left with k plus 1 close, okay. So here it was supposed to be 1, this time I took out 3, it's supposed to be 1, not 3. Okay, that is still all over 2. Then I can move this way, moving with my equation. Um, now, there is a common factor again, the common factor of k plus 1. If I take out k plus 1 here, I'll be left with 3k. If I take out there, we have plus 2. And that is all over 2 again. Uh, did I make a mistake? I just wrote in a very bad my bracket. Yes, all over 2. The question is, is this the same as that? I don't know. Let's just try to work it out. So, that was, that was our left-hand side. Let me just, that was our left-hand side. Let's look at the right-hand side. This right-hand side. Let me just demarcate all this out. This is our left-hand side. And our left-hand side gave us this. Okay, hold it like that. And here, what can we do? We just put k plus 1 here. So it's k plus 1, nothing changes. k plus 1, close. And here it's going to be 3k plus 1. 
a andar a no call oh uh, let me check i'm supposed to distribute a uh, k and then i'll have uh 3k plus 3 uh minus 1 uh what else after this is going to work itself out until you have k plus 1 and 3k plus 2 that is still all over 2 i just forgot about it yes all over 2 that has a 2 not a 6 2 <laughs> that is still all over 2 so that was my right hand side if i look here my right hand side and my left hand side at this time this this is the same as this yes it's the same so if they are the same then now we can conclude that our right hand side is equal to our left hand side so then mm, therefore our k plus one is also in, in the set also conclude that um therefore this hold uh, that's supposed to be hold this hold true for all integers uh, that we are greater than greater or equals to one that when I sold it greater or equals to one that what you are supposed to prove uh proved uh proven with mathematical math induction right that's what we're doing we're writing full in the exam so this is how you should end your statement yeah thank you for watching and please like uh, share subscribe there will be also a follow-up video for a second example because i promise two example and now i'm getting out of time thank you